In this video, we're gonna make a simple do-it-yourself bikepacking cradle for your handlebar. My name is Troy Spradlin and thanks for joining us here on our YouTube channel, The Adventures of Troy and Andrea. So if you're anything like me and you want to go bikepacking, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on something like a cradle for your tent, for your handlebars, because they cost anywhere from $100 to $200 or $300, what do you do? Well, you improvise and you make your own. And that's what I want to do today is show you what I did of making my own handlebar cradle for bikepacking. You know, my wife and I do this YouTube channel just as a hobby because we like to go out riding our bikes and go on different adventures and things like that. But we want to be frugal with our money and we don't want to spend it on things that we don't know if we're really going to need. And, you know, I wanted to go bikepacking and, and I'm new at this, but I do know a thing or two about how to rig things up and how to make things work. I've been doing that most of my life. And so I just thought about it a little bit and thought there's got to be a way that I could build my own bikepacking cradle. But I ran into a problem with these flat handlebars. Me being a shorter guy and this being a, a small, the cables and stuff would rub. And so I couldn't just strap a bag or anything like that onto my handlebars. So I had to find another method, another way of doing it. So the first thing that I thought about was what kind of support do I need? And as I got to looking at the different ones online, I noticed that most of them were cloth and some of them had a little bit more support, but what I wanted was something that had more sturdy support. So I really got to thinking about what would give something a good amount of support. And I figured out just a piece of plastic. And so I've got a cheap plastic trash can. <laughs> By taking this trash can, I just cut out a piece of it, was able to then shape it in the form that I needed, put a couple of holes in it, and it worked out perfect. So let me show you the different parts that make up this cradle. There's essentially four components that it's made of. Very inexpensive components. One being this piece of plastic right here that we took from the plastic trash can. These straps that are uh, used to connect the cradle to the handlebar and then there is this handlebar extension piece right here that I got from Amazon and then there are some tie wraps and when we break this thing apart I'll show you how it's all attached and everything else but let me just talk start right here and show you some of the parts and how it works with this so this is the piece of plastic that we took from the trash can to serve as the support for the cradle now I reinforce this edge right here because I cut slots in here to put the straps through and I just didn't want it to rip out or anything like that. So that's just to reinforce it. You may not need to do that, but that's what I decided to do. Just two pieces of aluminum that I clamped on there with some screws. Then I used these straps that I got basically from an old bolt tarp that I had and some, you might have some different straps from backpacking or something like that. All you need to do is just to be able to cinch down between this point and the handlebar, which pulls it back up on itself and folds back on itself. Whenever I let this loose, it's got enough room in here that I can actually add more parts and pieces. And so all I did was use these. I can unbuckle this if I want to or put this back in and I can clamp that down or tighten it down as much as I want. And this extra, I just simply put down inside here so it's not flapping around whenever I'm riding. Now one of the things that I really like about this setup is that this handlebar extender that I got from Amazon, it allows the cradle to come out away from the handlebar. And that was important to me and this is my biggest problem when it came to a bikepacking setup was this has hydraulic brakes on it and me being a smaller guy and this being a small bike, uh, the cables don't have a lot of room to be able to flex and so I need it extra. So you can see here there's a space that it creates and I just used a piece here as you can see a piece of flat metal that gave it some support and it's tie wrapped off but this allowed the cradle to be out away from my cables without causing any kinks or without causing too much uh, problems in there. And so it really helps out a lot getting it away from the handlebar. The other thing I like about it 
is that I was able to mount my headlight as well as my Wahoo and I could probably even mount my phone on here. There's room for other things. And so that made it really nice as well. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this so that you can just kind of see how it's all put together and we'll talk about the parts. But I can unbuckle this, which is a fast way of being able to get this out and it just remains there on my bike. All right, so hopefully this view will help give you better understanding of how the whole thing is put together. So essentially you're attached right here with your tie wrap and then you just take your strap again it doesn't have to be a buckle but it goes all the way back to the handlebar back here and it's pulling it back to up to the handlebar and that's what gave it the support along with that piece of metal around back now this right here is the main support system for the bike packing cradle and it all revolves around this piece right here this is a clamp-on extension tube that you can get from Amazon for as little as $12. Now it just clamps onto your handlebar and it is very sturdy. I've had this on here for a while and it has never moved or shifted on me at all and it provides all the support for the cradle. Now about the same time that I was trying to figure this out for myself, I was watching another guy on YouTube who has way more experience bikepacking than I do and he also used one of these for his cradle and he said he was very pleased with it and it never moved. So this is the key part that you need right here. Now really this is all you need to be able to put your cradle on here. I just added a little bit more support by getting a piece of flat metal, bending it to the angle that I needed, and then tie wrapping it onto my stem so that it would give a little bit more support. But you may not even need this. Well, there you go. I hope this has been helpful for you and maybe save you a little bit of money of making your own handlebar cradle for bikepacking. Hey, thanks for watching and be sure and check out some of our other videos like the bikepacking trip that I went on. And if you like what you see, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it.